Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In a sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right, this is the Baba Yakanan from the GMS England branch, and um, I want to do a brief lesson on this um article that you see here on the screen. Now, this is taken from Ars Technica or ARS Technica.com, and as you can see, it's entitled. Neuralink rival sets brain chip record with 4,096 electrodes on human brain. All right. Now, um, you have many um, rivals to Neuralink. You know, you've got many independent, you know, startup companies that are actively, you know, working on this um, brain chip technology and ultimately, you know, bringing about the... Um, normalization of the technology that is you know the the MOTB all right the revelation 13 and 16 now it says here brain computer interface company precision neuroscience says that it has set a new world record for the number of new neuron tapping electrodes placed on a living human's brain all right and that number is 4096 surpassing the previous record of 2048 set last year according to an announcement from the company on tuesday all right and by the way this um article is dated the 28th of um may all right 2024 as you can see here so this is fresh news now it says the high density of electrodes allows neuroscientists to map the activity of neurons at unprecedented resolution which will ultimately help them to better decode thoughts into intended actions all right so having the ability to have um this technology you know these electrodes tap into the brain at the number of 4096 all right that is um some heavy you know advancement all right which just shows you that it's really yahweh shimmy shy that is putting the spirit upon these um startup companies and upon these you know evil scientists to accelerate this technology all right to bring about revelation 13 and verse 16 okay so prophecy is um actively you know speeding up all right through the spirit and power of yahweh barshim yahweh shai all right everything is being done to speed up the process of these prophecies coming to pass and at the same time you know shortening our stay you know in this wicked kingdom that is headed by Esau Edom, okay? So we're in some real beautiful times. Now, right quick, let's go to, um, let's go to the book of um, Habakkuk uh, chapter two, all right? And we'll go straight to the point. This is Habakkuk chapter two and verse uh, two. And it reads, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right? So the vision, all right, which are these prophecies, all right, they're coming to pass. Okay? They are not tarrying. All right? The prophecies of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right, that are written down in the Holy Scriptures, they are manifesting, you know, right before our eyes. And this proves to you that we're in the end times. All right. This proves that we're in the end times. And these major prophecies, all right, that we've been um, prophesying about on the highways and the byways and via, you know, the Internet highways and byways. 
these prophecies are about to be fulfilled in these last days. All right. So we're not going to be here for much longer. All right. There's a reason why technology is accelerating at the speed that it's ex accelerating at. All right. There's a reason for that. Okay. As it tells us in uh, the book of Daniel's 12, you know, it, where, it, where it mentions how knowledge shall be increased and many shall run to and fro. All right. We're in that time. It's happening. Okay. It is happening for the purpose of shutting down Esau Edom's kingdom. Okay. Now let's go back to this um, article. It says, um, the high density electrodes allows neuroscientists to map the activity of neurons at unprecedented resolution, which will ultimately help them to better decode thoughts into intended actions. All right. So that's that beast technology. All right. That's that MOTB technology. All right. Fully, you know, inhabiting your thoughts and connecting you to the internet of things, you know, connecting you to that chip. All right. Which is going to grant them full control. All right. Over everyone that receives that MOTB. Okay. Cause this is, you know, ultimately the, the, the plan, you know, of Esau Edom, all right. Is to have full control over the people. All right. Now it says uh, precision, like many of its rivals has the preliminary, let me say that again, preliminary, <laughs> preliminary, all right, goal of using its brain computer interface to restore speech and movement in patients, which there was um, another report in regards to this, um, I believe it was a Spanish speaking um, individual, all right, who had the, um, chip you know uh, um, um, installed you know within him and he was able you know to um communicate again in his native tongue which was spanish all right and also english if i'm not mistaken all right so again you know like i've said in many other videos there's targeting those that are you know disabled and um physically or mentally challenged you know in some way in order to aid them with, with this technology all right so it says, uh, particularly those who have suffered a stroke or spinal cord injury, but precision stands out from its competitors due to a notable split from one of the most high profile BCI companies, Neuralink, owned by a controversial billionaire, Elon Musk. Precision was co-founded by a neurosurgeon and engineer, Ben Rapoport who was also a co-founder of Neuralink back in 2016, all right? So at some point in time, you know, a lot of these companies are all connected, all right? A, all, a lot of these companies are all connected, and it's not a surprise because they all share the same agenda in being the first, you know, to come out with the um, finalized and perfect, you know, chip, all right? That's basically what it's a race, a race for. Um, it says, um, later left the company and in 2021 started rival precision with three colleagues, two of whom had also been involved with Neuralink. In a May, uh, uh, in, in a May 3rd episode of the Wall Street Journal podcast, The Future of Everything, Rapoport suggested he left Neuralink over safety concerns for the company's more invasive BCI implants. All right. So... Again, you know, this thing is um thoroughly um intensifying and this prophecy, you know, is coming to pass real soon through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashem Kodash. And this is beautiful news. All right, because every week, you know, we're practically getting updates, you know, you know, this chip, you know, this device that they're pumping so much money into and so much promotion into, all right? It's not for no reason. Now, let me see if there's anything else in here. It says, um, Precision's device does not penetrate the brain at all, but sits on top of the brain. The device contains at least one yellow film said to be a fifth the thickness of a human hair that contains 1,024 electrodes embedded in a lattice pattern. The device is modular, allowing for multiple films to be added to each device. The films can be slipped onto the brain in a minimally invasive surgery that requires cutting only a thin slit in the skull, <laughs> which the yellow ribbon-like device can slide through. 
according to precision, all right? The film then con conforms to the surface of the brain. The processing unit that collects data from the electrodes is designed to sit between the skull and the scalp. In the, if the implant needs to be removed, the film is desired to slide off the brain without causing damage, all right? So again, you know, they mentioned that they make a thin slit in the skull, all right? So that's boring, you know, your, your head, all right? And that's going to be inserted into you. So let's go to the um, the actual prophecy. Let's go to Revelation uh, chapter 13 and um, verse uh, 16, all right? Let's get straight to the point. And he calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right? So that mark, you know, goes back to the Greek, all right, karagma, all right, which is a cutting in the flesh, all right? That's exactly what it is, all right? And again, beginning with Elder Apostle Tahar on down, you know, of Great Millstone, you know, this is what we've been telling you, you know, for the longest time. And now these things are actually manifesting, okay? So again, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, all right? So without this device, without this mark, you're not going to be able to buy, you're not going to be able to sell, you're not going to be able to take part in society, all right? So that's going to cause a heavy, you know, dividing line in society, and that's going to separate the real from the fake, okay? Now, for the sake of um edification, let's actually go into... um. The definition, all right, of the word um, mark in Revelation 13 and 16, all right? And as you can see here, it says karagma, all right? <clears throat> Strong G, 5480, karagma, karagma. All right, now let's go to the, um, the definitions, all right? And the main point we want to go to, it says a thing carved. All right, a sculpture, a graven work. All right, so that's something that's going to be carved into the flesh. All right, it's actually going to bore your flesh. Okay, it's going to go in you. It's something that you have to receive inside your body. Like you've been seeing, you know, with these trials and with these people that actually have it. All right, they actually have, you know, the brain chip. They actually have it inserted, you know, in the brain. All right, you have people on earth that actually have, you know, chips within their hand too. Okay, what you got to do is Google it, all right, or YouTube it, and you will see you know, a list of individuals that actually have this technology within themselves already, okay? Now it's just a thing, you know, of making it mandatory and making it something where you actually need it, you know, to take part in society, which is coming, all right? They'll do this very soon, okay? Now let's go to Karux, Strong's G, which is another root word. Karux. Karux. Right, and it says a pale or stake, a palisade. All right. Now, a good example is when you um when you look at a garden fence, you know, you have the stakes, you know, that go into the ground that border soil. OK, that's that's what you would know. That's what you would know as a, a palisade. All right. Let me see if I can get a, a picture of it. Palisade. All right. All right, there's a few examples there. Let me, let's use this one right here. That's a good example, but I want to get, um, let's type in Palisade Fence. Let's be more sp specific so we can get this example. All right, beautiful. So as you can see here, with the fencing, you know, you have the sharp point at the bottom, you know, that goes into the soil, all right, that bores the soil to keep the fence stable, all right, so that's a, an example, you know, of a palisade, you know, fencing, you know, um, structure, okay, let 
Now let me actually type in steak. And let's see if it specifically shows, you know, the image. Okay, beautiful. For what do you have about Shimmy Shai? So look, medieval wooden steaks. All right. So here's a, a very good example. So that's the steak part. All right. So that would be like likened onto your, you know, syringe, you know, the um, delivery device that puts the CHIP within you. Okay, so that's the steak. Let's see if there's any more, which really we don't need any more. All right, here's a good example as well. You know, a steak, you know, in the ground. All right, so you get the picture, all right? You get the picture. Now let's go even further, you know, into the root words. And let's go into grapho. Strong's G, 1125. Grapho. Grapho. Now, the Greek word grapho, you know, that goes into, you know, information, you know, writing information. Okay, which would be the information that is on the device, you know, the electronic device. Okay, which would be, you know, information about yourself. You know, your name, your address, your date of birth. Okay, your um, your bio information, if you have any ailments, any sicknesses, so on and so forth. You know, your bank account details, you know, your, um, your occupation. Everything is going to be, you know, written on that device. Okay, so it's no, um, it's no um, um, coincidence, all right, that when you go into these root words, it perfectly summarizes the um, usage, all right, and the description of of this device all right this is of no um this is of no you know coincidence whatsoever all right this is all spiritual through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and for those of you that can't see it you know more than likely you're going to end up taking this technology and being destroyed all right by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai upon his return and the heavenly angels as pursuant to Revelation 14 all right where it tells you the judgment okay so um I'm going to cut it off there, you know, Lord willing, you know, this, um, this update, you know, was, um, edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Kadash, and until next time, I'll say Shalom.